Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown. This is a battle of the budgets. Here we have Sky versus Diamondback, and I think this will be a good one. Now, I had to tell you, I was going to scrap this series, but then I did a poll on my community tab, and with over 2,700 people voting, 91% said they enjoy this series. So I'm going to keep it going. But before we get into this, I have to report the results from the last handgun showdown where we had Glock versus CZ. And I thought it would actually be closer than it was, but by a fairly large margin, CZ ran away with this one. People love CZs and they are very diverse with their handguns. They have all different sizes and striker and hammer fire guns and they keep innovating even more. So CZ won this one, but let's get into the battle of the budgets, Sky versus Diamondback, and we will start with Sky. I have two Sky handguns to feature. Let's start with the 380 model called the CPX-3. This is a nice handgun. I did a torture test with it last summer. I ran 500 rounds consecutively through this gun and it performed excellent. The grip is a little thinner than the CPX-2, and it has a nice feel to it. Comes with three 10 round magazines and they have what they're, they're calling the quad lock system which means it locks up into four different places each time the slide is manipulated keeping everything nice and tight. Skies are making hammer fire guns although they do have a new model coming out. It's not released yet. That will be a striker fire gun and I'm very excited about that. But the trigger pull double action only we're looking at between seven and a half and eight pounds so a little heavier but it's a nice handgun with three dot sights a barrel length at 2.96 and the unloaded weight is 15 ounces so people are carrying this and enjoying it and it shoots very nice over here we've got a cpx2 but this is the rd model the rd stands for red dot this is a crimson trace 1500 it comes installed just like this so you don't have to worry about any uh, slide plates or mounting or anything like that similar trigger system this is also a hammer fired gun we're looking at the same trigger weight and basically the same profile but a little little uh, wider with the grip but people love sky handguns they're definitely a budget gun you know this one here has a barrel length of 3.1 also comes with 10 round magazines so the capacity is there and as for the red dot you know it's an auto dimming red dot that is said to have 20,000 hours of uh, activity time I guess is the way to say it and um, you know people are moving toward red dots with their CCW guns now let's get to those diamondbacks I am featuring two diamondbacks as well let's start with the DB9 Gen 4 9 millimeter handgun extremely small and lightweight it's loaded weight with seven rounds is 16 and a quarter ounces check that out 0.81 inches wide on the slide this is in my opinion a pocket carry handgun finger extension there on the magazine base plate gives three finger contact but the gen 4 has some improvements they changed the grip texturing you can see that it's got front serrations but the trigger is a little bit heavier on the first pull but check this out very short reset i think that is for pocket carriers to make it a little more safer uh, three dot sights this is plus p rated once again very small very lightweight and a nice all-around handgun for deep concealment no question about that the diamondback that i am so impressed with is the am2 i don't think this gets the respect it deserves it's a very nice shooting handgun both these budget priced it has 12 rounds in the mag 3.5 inch barrel this has a 3.1 inch barrel i don't know that i mentioned that it's got a matte finish on the slide some uh black uh, along the serrations and the top with a sight hole indicator a striker fire indicator three dot sights with an orange front dot a pick rail nice overall feel and texture and a striker fire trigger with trigger bar safety there that breaks at a real nice point and you know I, I shoot this gun extremely well overall a good looking gun a nice shooting gun 
and like I already mentioned, these are budget priced. The skies are budget priced, so I think this is going to be a real good handgun showdown. And much respect to both of these companies. So which of these companies do you think makes the better handgun? Is it Sky or is it Diamondback? Let me know in the comments. I'll tally them up and report the results for the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.